Welcome back, daughter Eva here, and today you're gonna to be watching my mom make some banana bread. All right, I'm gonna use these overripe bananas to make banana bread with chocolate chips. Yeah. Okay, so all the ingredients will be in the description of this video. and then giving them a name that makes them your own. So yeah, so this is don't slip on your banana, make banana bread with chocolate chips. And like I say, throughout the video. Okay, um, I cut up half a stick of butter, put it in the microwave for 30 seconds to soften it. I'm gonna leave those little chunks like that. And next I'm gonna add the sugar. Okay, I'm pouring in one and a half cups of sugar. Now I'm adding two eggs. Now add a quarter cup of sour cream to this mixture, which is the butter, sugar, and the eggs. I've already creamed together. Now stir in the sour cream, a quarter cup. Cups of flour. Add a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Add one teaspoon of baking soda. Baking soda. So that's a half a teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, and I already added the two cups of flour. This is a half teaspoon of salt. Spoon of vanilla extract. I kind of, I poured it dripped a little so that's one teaspoon of the vanilla extract okay just added all the dry ingredients to the butter sugar eggs sour cream mixture and now i'm gonna stir that up this is me just mixing it with my spatula for right now and holding my camera which is interesting so i'm gonna go ahead and set the camera aside and mix this up really well and then i'm gonna add the bananas and chocolate chips Okay, these bananas are ripe and there might be like a few spots I have to cut out that are just bruised or too dark. Um, okay. And I said four bananas. The recipe calls for four bananas, the fourth banana. Hunter, want to come wave hello to everyone? are the banana peels so I don't want anyone to slip on them I'm gonna put them in the compost and then I'm just gonna take this bowl of ripe bananas that I freshly peeled and I'm gonna smash them up and then I can add them to the banana bread mixture see the bananas are so soft you can just mash them with a fork work on this a little more and I'll be back. Okay. I just added the smashed up bananas and I'm gonna add the chocolate chips. Let me show you. Okay, so that's four, four smashed up bananas and a three quarter cup of chocolate chips. You can add more if you want.
Get out of the fridge, Hunter. Wave hi to everybody. Say thanks for all the gift cards, all the love, all the support. He's a good guy. You're gonna need two bread pans. Can you see mine sitting over there? They were actually my grandma's, so if they look antique-ish, they are. Um, I'm using two tin bread pans because this makes enough for two. Turn your oven on to heat up at 350, 350 degrees. You're gonna spray your bread pans. This is the banana bread with the smashed bananas, four smashed bananas, and the three quarter cup of the chocolate chips. Everything's mixed up really well. I'm gonna divide this into two of my tin um, bread pans. And like I told you, they were my grandma's, so you can tell they're a little antique-ish. And grandma made really good banana bread. The two loaves of the banana bread that has chocolate chips. All right. You're gonna set your timer for 40 minutes and then you'll check it at 40 minutes. Look, I'm setting my timer. Okay, for 40 minutes and then we'll stick a little toothpick in it to make sure it, it goes down and comes out. It smells delicious. I wish you could smell it. Okay, I'm opening my oven door. It's a little creaky, but see, it didn't fall off. Ooh, looks very good. Okay. Toothpick trick. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Well, can't wait to try it. Mm. Ah, can you smell that? It smells so good. Other than the ugliness of it, it's very, very good. You're gonna have to try this recipe. Let me know how it goes for you. Don't slip on your banana, make banana bread with chocolate chips. Okay, so there you have it. Don't slip on your banana, make banana bread with chocolate chip recipe. I hope you like it. I'll put all the ingredients and the cook time and heat for the oven in the description. Thanks so much for being here, for watching these videos, for liking, subscribing, commenting. Um, I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me and um, I'm glad you're here. So thanks so much. Enjoy. Okay, welcome back. We are on site with a live testimonial <laughs> of the don't slip on your banana, make banana bread with chocolate chips. So tell us, Hannah. So, what do you think? I've already had some. This is my probably fourth or fifth, the fourth not plus yeah. serving. Um, and I said I was going to give an honest review. Yes, please. I like to um, have mine with milk. Got that here. And I like to heat it up for about 10 seconds for Ooh. the best taste. Now, I have to say first, I love banana bread. Like, I love banana bread. And I will say this is pretty good good what would you rate it uh if i had to rate it out of 10 i would give it a 9.2 that's for taste um talk about presentation okay. yeah i know probably now keep in mind it's called don't slip on your banana make banana bread with chocolate chips probably um a seven not bad, that's better than five, but. The idea that you thought about a five. <laughs> Not the best, but it tastes good, so. Okay. Now, do you like to eat it with your fingers? Do you put butter on it? I do eat it with my fingers. Cream cheese. And I don't usually don't put anything on it. See, luckily it's nice and um, moist, moist, so it, so I don't, I don't really need butter or much else on it because it's. It looks good sliced. Gives me all the flavor I need. It's just the loaf that. Nice work. Thank you, Hannah. Anything else you'd like to add? Do you like the name? Um, it's a little long. Okay, we were interrupted with a phone call, potentially a customer that wanted to order some 
don't trip, slip on your banana, make banana bread with chocolate chips. One person calls you. Well, Mike that's, Morgan. that's potential. That's potential. All right, take a bite again. I'm almost done here. How do you stop yourself? From nice just... and chocolatey. Well, I don't really stop myself. Very good. Would you recommend this recipe to your friends? I would actually, believe it or not. And Hannah volunteered her testimonial. Mm -hmm. What do you call it? Honest review. I think oh, testimonial yeah. is a little too positive. A little too much of a commitment. Right. I'm being oh, honest here. Okay. Well, I really appreciate it. I have a couple other recipes up my sleeve. Okay. So um, if I'll you're see willing. I'll what I can do. Yeah. And we are going to be working on another project with her. Back in the days of when I did CrossFit. Hi everybody.